Thank you folks. Let's take a look how you can share some data between few tests or pass some values from one test to another. It will work when you run tests in a serial mode or sequentially, not in parallel in case you need it. So the easiest way to do that and I will be showing an uh, example on uh, API tests, but you can uh, use the same for UI tests as well, doesn't really matter. So the easiest way is to just to declare two variables, not to just uh, how many, as many as you need, on the top of your spec file, so declare them as let, so they can be reassigned. <coughs> In this example I have five tests and a uh, few of them will be using uh, the same authorization token and few will be using uh, the same booking ID. So I'm going to create uh, some booking and save the, its ID in this post request then pass it uh, and reuse the same booking ID in uh, get, put, patch and delete requests. The same with uh, authorization token. It's just an example, so you can use uh, it for, for uh, different purposes as you might need. It's not necessarily related to authorization at all. But anyway, yeah, so you declare these uh, variables. Then in before all, specifically for out token, I'm uh, getting it using this function declared above. So I'm sending post request to out endpoint and, point, and yeah, then returning it and saving in uh, before all and then I use it in put, patch and delete requests. The same for booking ID. I'm declared here as null. <coughs> Here I'm uh, assigning it in post request right after I created it. Then I reuse the same value in uh, get request, in put and patch, and I delete the same booking ID that I created, kind of to clean up everything anyways. Then one more time in uh, get request to make sure inside the lit test to make sure that uh, it has been deleted and the response is 404. So again, this is the easiest way just to declare variables on the top. It will have uh, according visibility and you can uh, use them inside your tests. So in my case it was booking ID, some ID 4268. Now in uh, regards of other options, uh, sometimes you can also use uh, environment variables using uh, process node.js variable process.env or process.variable name. Here's playwright example how you can pass username and password from the command line, for example, not to share, not to store secrets in uh, in your code base. So you can declare them here as a part of terminal command for execution. Then go the command itself, and then you can access them from here. But it's not really passing between the tests. It's like uh, just using the same values. <coughs> and one more way to do the same for authorization. It's a bit more complicated way when you can declare some specific um, file or setup that will be run before all tests. Like here it says in shared accounts in all tests example so basically what this code does 
it uh, authenticates on UI and saves it in the storage state. So basically JSON file. Here it is declared. And then uh, you can pass it here and it says that uh, it, should, it will be run before all tests. And then you can use it in uh, further tests. I'm pretty sure there are a few more options, but uh, yeah, take just the easiest approach with variables. If it works for you, then it's fine. Don't need to invent anything else. The only thing that uh, it will work, approach like this will work in uh, sequential mode, no, not when you run a test in parallel, only one after each other. If you would want kind of this, kind of the same approach to work uh, during paralliz parallelization, then I would suggest uh, to use functions that will be, for example, Here for our token, you can use something like something like that. Put it on the top of each test. And inside this function, you can check if it exists in, uh, for example, process.env variable, if you save it in there. If it's not null, for example, then uh, return it right away without uh, sending any additional requests. But if it's null, then it means that uh, this is the first test uh, that is running it. And only then you, inside this function, you can send the actual uh, post request to get our token, save it to variable, and uh, you will have this line on the top of each test. I hope it makes sense. Uh, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.